This is a 99 Toyota Solara and I'm going to shoot a short video on how I remove the rear shock strut assembly. Now you'll see on other videos where they took out the whole back seat panels and you can find the top hat right up in there. There's three bolts on either side and what I did first is I took all the, 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 the nuts out. After taking the nuts out, I took, put my jack in the middle in a secure spot and lifted up the whole back end. After I did that, of course, I added uh, uh, jack stands. Very important. You don't want it to fall. And uh, I'm going to show you what I did. After I took that out, the, the struts fail. This one still, I have this uh, loose to play with. Um, on the side, they're on the, well, the brake line, there's like a I think it was a 10 and a 12 millimeter. There's one over here if you want to take off too, so you, you don't want to damage anything, but very easy to take out. But jacked up, they fell out. Uh, down here were the uh, bolts. There's two of them. If you can see them or not. But they were a 19 millimeter. I just, uh, uh, took, took the bolt nut off and stuck something in there and knocked it through with a you know little hammer then after that took my hammer and just knocked this around a little bit and you can you can push this down or whatever but the the, whole, the strut falls right out and then to put them back in I uh, you know got the new one and stuck it up in there and I had an assistant uh, put the uh, nuts back on while I held it in place and this is what it will look like when it's all done everything's secure uh, I went ahead and replaced these uh, sway, uh, sway links too you got to take those off uh, as you can, here's the other one it's kind of shot and, uh, sway links they're like $22 a piece you can probably get them online for cheaper but Got the whole assembly, and put the yeah. Once these are back in, go ahead and slide these. Everything comes on pretty easy. Um, put the uh, bolts back in there, and the torque spec for a new uh, bolt is about 200 pounds. Well, new one's 255, but. They didn't come with new ones, so I reused the old ones. They said about 200 pounds for the old one. Uh, the top nuts were like 49 pounds. The rest of this, I think, like th uh, 39 pounds or so, but that's torque. But I got these off, and I'm going to put it back on and see how it goes.